Hey guys, JV here with a new edition of my Mass Effect Andromeda Pathfinder Guide Series. Since we're still a few days away until launch, and some of you are deciding which version of the game you want to get, I wanted to show off all the bonus items that you get with each edition. Also, don't worry, there are no spoilers in this video, or any tips and tricks video on my channel during the first month of the game being out. I know you guys are sensitive to that, so I'm not going to spoil you in these videos. Before we start, quick reminder that I'm uploading a ton of Andromeda content, including tips and tricks guides, my early access playthrough stream, which continues later tonight, and multiplayer. So if any of that interests you, be sure and subscribe to my channel. First off, I'm going to show you where you can redeem these items because there's a specific spot in the game. So you'll need to get your ship first, which is the Tempest. That'll happen within the first two hours in the game, kind of depending on how long you take doing whatever you need to do in the first part of the game. So you'll want to go down to your Pathfinder's quarters. I showed you how to get to it from the galaxy map. You just go down the ladder and then here's the quarters. You want to go over to the desk and hit this special requisitions little terminal here. That'll give you absolutely everything for your edition of the game. First, we're taking a look at the standard edition items which require a pre-order of the game. First is the Deep Space Explorer armor set that gives you both a helmet and the armor, which also counts for the legs and arms. If you're wondering, oh, I can't find it. It's only two pieces, but the armor set actually applies across the board. So the helmet gives you plus 10% encounter XP increases, which is pretty nice, right? And then the armor set gives you plus 15% encounter XP increase and plus 5% weapon damage. This is a pretty cool set, and I really like the way it looks. I believe you can customize the armor in the Tempest on the armor terminal uh, in your quarters so that's pretty cool and you know it's up to you guys whether you like armor that increases your xp sometimes i'm like hey i don't need that because there is no level cap in this game but other times i want to level up more quickly get more powerful you know abilities and all that stuff and that's what this helps with so that is the deep space explorer armor set Next is a golden nomad skin, which kind of looks ridiculous depending on your preference for that. But you can actually put this on at any loadout screen, forward operating base, the Tempest, wherever that might be. It's called the Midas Touch Ultra Rare N7 quality <laughs> rarity level paint job there. So once you put it on, as you can tell, it's absolutely ridiculous. It is completely golden. It's going to kind of give you this reflective surface uh, effect, which is pretty cool. But to be honest, I'm probably not going to use this thing. I really do like the default skin of the Nomad, and there's other ones you can already buy in the game. So this isn't the only other Nomad skin, but if you do like this golden look, it is there in the pre-order version of the game. The final pre-order bonus is a multiplayer booster pack in multiplayer. So you'll have to go to the store and then scroll over to rewards on the far right, and that's where you'll find it. Unfortunately, I already opened it, so I don't have the gameplay of me opening that pack. Moving on to the deluxe items, and I want to make a side note here. If you did pre-order the deluxe or super deluxe, you also get the standard pre-order stuff that I just mentioned. So that'll come with deluxe and super deluxe if you're wondering. First, we're looking at the Pathfinder casual outfit, and of course, you'll need to redeem all your special items, then go over to the wardrobe terminal on the Tempest in the Pathfinder's quarters. And the first thing you'll see is your casual outfit selection, and at the bottom is the hoodie. So this is what you get, and what's cool about armor in this game is you get to customize all of the colors, so you can play around with that and also this is what you'll wear aboard the tempest and the nexus and the arc hyperion anywhere that's a casual location this is the outfit that you'll be able to wear and run around it i'm just going to walk around the tempest a little bit just to show what this looks like it's a standard hoodie nothing super special about it it does have the patch on the side the little logo there and some little places for Ryder to put his hands, although he doesn't put his hands in them. But yeah, cool little cosmetic item for you there. Next is the Scavenger armor set. And again, you get a helmet and an armor piece, just like the Deep Space Explorer that expands to the legs and arms. And so with the helmet, you get minus 10% weapon weight and plus 10% max ammo. Pretty effective and helpful in combat. And then with the armor set, you get another set of bonuses. You get minus 15% weapon weight, plus 15% max ammo, and plus 10% sell prices. So this is definitely the better of the two armor sets, in my opinion. Walking around here, it comes in this purplish color, which I actually don't think looks that bad. I haven't gone and customized it, although I do believe you can customize the colors if purple is not your thing. But again, it looks really cool. I really dig the helmet. Kind of gives me a Star-Lord feel, at least the newer Star-Lord. And yeah, I really like this uh, set of armor. This is definitely going to be my go-to set of armor since I do have it with the deluxe version of the game. Next is the Pathfinder Elite Weapon Set, which is four rare weapons of each tier. So first, we're looking at the Pathfinder Pioneer Rare Assault Rifle. 
This thing is a three round burst assault rifle. These are all Milky Way weapons, by the way. And I found this thing to be really powerful in the early game, like so powerful that I felt like I was crushing enemies on normal a lot more than I would be with any other weapon that I had picked up to this point. And so this set is really to give you that edge early on in the game. And seriously, I think this is the best weapon of this set. And it's up to you guys if you want to give yourself an edge with the deluxe edition of the game. I mean, you get it, you paid for it, so you might as well, right? But at the same time, it felt like an unfair advantage, at least on normal. Next, we have the Pathfinder Ranger, which is a rare pistol. It's more of an SMG. As you guys know, they kind of lumped pistols, hand cannons, and SMGs into one category. That's pistols in this game. And so this thing has a huge capacity, 75 rounds per magazine, which is absolutely insane. And it's much more of a close range, low damage per bullet, but high rate of fire weapon. So I think this is a great for, you know, some more utility classes. It's not more of an, you know, an assault type you know, soldier type weapon, in my opinion, but it is fairly good at close range. Next is the Pathfinder Observer Rare Sniper Rifle, and this is not a huge high damage sniper rifle. It's one of those higher capacity, high rate of fire, uh, you know, assault rifles, in my opinion. So I don't know. I usually prefer the harder hitting, slower rate of fire ones that really just, you know, destroy your enemy. But this one is good. This one is good as well. Again, it's going to be one of the best you get in the early game. So this will last you a while if you want to play a cloaking infiltrator sniper type character. then this is definitely a great weapon to start the game with. The final weapon of this set is the Pathfinder Deep Impact Rare Shotgun, and this thing is pretty good. I found this to be a high damage, you know, low rate of fire kind of shotgun, and I haven't honestly played around with a lot of shotguns. I haven't found a lot of shotguns in the game so far in the first 10 hours, and so I don't have a great barometer for comparing shotguns, but I found this one to have decent range and to be a pretty good starter shotgun, probably better than what you're going to find out there, you know, in the first 10 hours of the game. So if you want to play a Vanguard type character, something that's close range with a shotgun, this is a fairly good weapon. Next is the pet pijack, which is kind of a multi-step thing. So you'll need to be on the Tempest and go to your email terminal on the desk. You'll find this email from Herrick for the pijack. You need to acknowledge the email on Xbox One that's clicking A. Then you'll need to go back to the Nexus docking area, and this isn't something that you'll unlock until you actually get your Tempest, leave the Nexus, and then come back. So keep that in mind. This is where your Pijack will be waiting. There is a quest that will totally mark this location for you, so don't worry about that. But you do need to go up and actually touch this container here where the Pijack is being held in order to unlock it for your Tempest. After you've done that, return to the Tempest, and again, you will have the quest marker, so this will lead you to wherever the Pijack is. It was here near the bridge in the research and development area for me, but again, I found this thing around this ship. I think it only hangs out on crates. I could be wrong about that because I've only seen one other spot, but yeah, you can walk up to it, click to pet. I don't think there's actually a petting animation as far as I know, but yeah, this is what you get out of the pet Pijack. He'll just hang around your ship. In the deluxe edition, you also get another multiplayer deluxe launch pack. And again, I already opened this thing, but for you guys, if you haven't opened it and you got this version, go to the store, scroll over to rewards, and it will be there for you to open. The final item in the deluxe edition of the game is the digital soundtrack. And to be quite honest, I don't know how to redeem this thing. I was given a review copy, as you guys know, so it didn't come like with the review copy of the game. There might be a code that I'm going to get emailed. I really have no idea, and I might have to wait until launch in order to get that. So once I figure that out, I'll let you guys know. I'll update in the comment section below. So the final version that you can get with these bonus items is the Super Deluxe Edition of the game, which is significantly more than the Deluxe Edition, and I'll explain why. It's because the only other thing you get is the Multiplayer Super Deluxe Booster Packs, which I believe are unlocked on a weekly basis. You're going to unlock one per week over 20 weeks. So you're kind of paying forward to slowly get all of these packs over an extended period of time. So far, I've gotten one ultra rare character. There's only two ultra rare characters in the game right now, and I'm about to show him to you guys he's very very cool but yeah i've gotten some really cool stuff out of this super deluxe edition pack that they give you for some reason i have extras i think that might be a glitch and they might revert that when the game actually comes out but showing you guys my character selection here i got the solarian operator which is a very cool kind of uh, engineer variant and playing a solarian is also really cool because they're super tall they kind of haunch over and they look awesome again the only difference between the deluxe and the super deluxe is this multiplayer pack thing that you get over 20 weeks and so my advice 
advice to you guys if you're wondering should i get deluxe or super deluxe only get super deluxe if you're really into multiplayer because it will pay for itself if you were going to buy those packs anyways but if not i would seriously consider just getting the deluxe if you're able to pre-order the game you will get those three pre-order items plus six things in the deluxe one of those being the digital soundtrack so if you you know subtract that that's eight extra things that you get to play around with that's even more if you consider all of the pathfinder elite weapons you know extra stuff and that is again a little bit more than the standard price of the game so that's kind of my general impressions on all of the bonus items that you get either by pre-ordering or getting special editions of this game all right guys those were all of the special edition items for mass effect andromeda if you pre-order the game get the deluxe or special deluxe this is what you can expect i hope this was helpful for you kind of make you have a more informed decision on the edition of the game that was kind of the purpose of this video let me know in the comment section below which edition of the game are you going to get after watching this video are you sticking with the you know standard not getting anything are you going to pre-order deluxe super deluxe let me know what you guys are getting in the comment section below so if you learned something new or just enjoyed the video please remember to hit that like button i'd really appreciate it. And again, don't forget to subscribe for tips and tricks guides, my early stream playthrough continuing tonight, and multiplayer gameplay. All of that will be on my channel, so if you haven't already, make sure and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.